we're back on San Diego Bay. I haven't fished out here in quite a bit. I've been up at Mission Bay doing a little bit of fishing. So it's good to get back out here. I do like San Diego Bay. There's a variety of different species you can catch. And I like that variety. You can get sand bass, spotted bay bass, halibut, calico bass. It's a good variety of species out here. It's a high tide right now and it's going low. So it's about eight o'clock. It'll be low by 12. It's not a big movement. It's good enough to hopefully get these fish biting. I did get the boat fixed and the trailer fixed, but I am on the kayak today. I do like kayak fishing. It's really fun and I had this scheduled. I wanted to keep to that promise to myself to get out there and kayak fish. So I have a variety of baits I'm gonna use today. If I get a bit on those, I'll talk about them. I'm looking to fish deep and if I have time, I'll go fish shallow. Let's go fishing. There we go, guys. Got something. It's starting to fight now. Went over a piece of structure. Just trying to see what was going on with it. Sculpin here. Sculpin on the D rig. We got a sculpin here, smaller guy. Double rig. Just trying to fish some structure. In like 40 feet of water. All right, there we go. Little sculpin. Good to get something though. Got something pulling on the line, I like that. <laughs> oh wow, look at this. Look at this here. Spin up a crab off the bottom. Now, that's interesting. That's interesting right there. Of course the sculpt is more focused on the bottom. So good to know we'll keep the baits closer to the bottom. into some big time structure so hopefully I can get out of this I'm stuck big time got the double rig stuck I don't think I have another swivel I didn't put the swivels in the box I don't think so hopefully I can reverse out of this snag Let's see here oh he's stuck big time your boy is stuck I was just drifting along some structure you know, pop over the structure, around the structure, because that's where the fish live. <laughs> oh no. Oh, we broke. Double rig is gone. Probably at the knot. Now, gotta tie a single rig. <laughs> and I lost those swim baits, so. I was trying some swim baits as well, but luckily I did catch one fish on those baits. Let's retie. Unfortunately. There we go. Got one, guys. On the deep structure. Thinking sculpin. Big sculpin. <laughs> well, I've been searching for a while, guys. I'm, I've been trying to find them. Pretty elusive here. <laughs> Little sculpin though. Got it on one of those new baits I'm, I've been trying. This is Exoswim, four inch. Finally found some structure, been, been working it for a while. Hard to get them. Hard to get them today. I don't know if they're not. I'm not sure if it's the current or the water temp or what, but it's a little hard to find them today. So I'm happy to get this one. Fish is some structure I found in 40 feet of water and decided to drift over it a couple times and that's the first bite I got. I forgot to bring my San Diego Bay box, which has my heavier heads, three quarter ounce, one ounce, one and a half ounce in heads and underspins. I have my Mission Bay spotty box in the boat, so I'm having to make do. Found a one ounce head and I'm running this four inch swim bait. It's a little bit off as far as presentation, but I think it'll get bit. I mean, it has a good tail kick and it's kind of a brownish greenish bait. And that's something you would see on the bottom here at San Diego Bay. 
All right, let's find that structure again and see if we can catch another one. There we go. All right. Oh, oh, better fighter, better fighter. Sand bass, maybe spotty. Sculpin. <laughs> Just a bigger sculpin. Okay. This is actually a big sculpin. Now this is like a full size one here. It's a full size sculpin. It's actually a good one. Pretty big. Easy out. <laughs> Look at that thing. That's a decent fish right there. <laughs> Hopefully you guys got a good visual of what he looks like as far as his cool colors, his tail. It's an awesome looking fish, that's for sure. That tail is so cool looking. Whoo, dude, don't grab that thing. All right, well, came out of my hand and I'm not gonna try for his mouth, so I'm gonna pick the fins up and put them back in. What I'm doing is I'm just looking at the graph and I'm just drifting in about 40 feet. And when I see something interesting, I drop it straight down on it. If I get a bite or feel any structure, I'll do a few little laps around it, see if it bites. You guys can see right there, that up and down motion, that's my lure going up and down. The line underneath it, that was a fish. And that, that dark purple, that's a hard spot. So there was a fish right there kind of over exaggerating the motion that I would use but you can see what I'm doing find some dark purple I get the bait near the bottom and that's where the fish are located on is that hard spot there we go big bite big swim bait change up the swim bait I think that little bait I was using four inch skinny wasn't really getting them active I had to change that swim bait on them. That little four inch was kind of skinny and the presentation was off. So I dug in the bag and found some, some bigger swim baits, kind of a off color, you know, combination, but got them to bite it. Beast, beast. Look at that swim bait. One ounce head. And I found these in the bag. Double A's. Double A five inch. So bigger, fatter profile. And pretty much, I think that was the first or second drop, got the bite. So it's a good sign. They may want a bigger bait. All right, let's get this guy unhooked. Try to get a six. <laughs> oh, he was hooked up. I'm on the sculpin. But I'm getting bit, so I don't mind. That guy tried to stab me in the hand on the way out. <laughs> yeah, so there's the combo. It's the colors are off big time, but the bait is fat. It's like a fat swim bait, soft as well. So you can see like, you know, the shape kind of bellows out in the middle. Very soft swim bait, has good tail kick. Fits on the one ounce, perfect. If I had a different color head, this swim bait would be amazing. San Diego Bay loves bright, bright swim baits. They love sartreuse out here, so. This is a good bait fish color for San Diego Bay. If I had a different color head, this would be dialed in, but we're still getting bit. If we can't get any more bites on the deep stuff, we'll go try for spotted bay bass. Let's see if we can get some more. <laughs> San Diego Bay, hello, how are you? <laughs> I'm 
fishing, man. <laughs> Just fishing. Got one on the wind, guys. Got one on the wind up. <laughs> Sweet, little spotty. 18 feet of water on the swim jig. <laughs> Good to get one. Got it on the half ounce war base swim jig roach with a G crack. I think that's how you pronounce it. G crack. I don't know. I'm trying a bunch of different baits today. So let's see if we can get another one. Finally got another dock bite. Barely hooked, barely hooked. <laughs> nice spotty, small little spotty. Feels thick. <laughs> Good to get another one. Got them on the swim bait and underspin presentation. Just casting parallel with these docks. That's a half ounce. Burnt underspin with the weed guard. Got the underspin down there, and that's that exo bait. So it's a nice little. I like the body. It's a. It's kind of a, a wider body to a thin tail. I like the body. It has good movement to it. That's fish in San Diego Bay for more than a few hours. I really had to work for those bites today. I only got a few sculpin and a few spotted bay bass, but I did have to work for them. Let's go over those baits I used today. And at the end of the video, let's do a giveaway. Here are those first baits I got bit on. It's a double A swim bait. It's a four inch bad Bubba Shad and sexy minnow. A little later in the day, I changed over to that five inch bait and caught a few more fish. I got one of those spotties on the swim jig presentation with the G-Crack Bellows Gill. It's a trippy plastic, it does have great action in the water, and it was fun to fish something new. Let me show you what this swim bait combination looked like in the water. I also got bit on the Biospawn Exo Swim 4 inch and the Warbaits half ounce underspin. I really like this combination together. I like the shape of the body. It had a wide width, but it also allowed that underspin to flow freely underneath the swim bait. And here's what the bait looked like swimming. These three combinations will be in the giveaway. What I need you guys to do is subscribe. And then in the comments section below, I want you to write big bass. I will have the automatic name picker pick three names out of the comment section to win these packages. This giveaway will end on Thursday. So you guys have a few days to get your comments in, get your subscribes in and get your likes in. And then I'll make a short video announcing the winners. We have the double A Warbaits package, the G Crack Warbaits Swim Jig package, 
and the Biospawn Underspin Package. I want to thank you all for joining me on this adventure. It was a fun one. I always like coming out fishing, no matter if I catch one or a ton. <laughs> it's always a good time. Thanks for all the support. You're giving war baits and this channel. We're growing and it's because of you guys. Our numbers are up on the online store and on this channel. So thank you very much. I really appreciate it. So hopefully something in this video inspires you to go fishing because fishing is pretty fun. So get out there, go fishing, hook that giant. Thank <laughs> you.